Hello, I'm here in Gloucester Cathedral Cloisters with Samuel Hudson, the newly appointed Director of Music at Worcester Cathedral. Hello, Samuel, how are you today? Hello, very well, thank you. Great, thanks for spending some time with us. Um, and we're very excited about uh, your recent appointment here uh, or at Gloucester. And we're speaking with Samuel about the Worcester 2023 Choirs Festival. So uh, we'd like to know a little bit about you. Tell us about your history and, and how you came to be in this work. Sure, okay. Well, um, I grew up in southeast London in a place called Croydon. And um, I was always interested in music. I learned the piano from quite a young age. I then took up the cello. And then um, I eventually managed to get my parents to agree to, uh, for me to join a local church choir because um, I, was, I was very busy already but then I wanted to sing as well and that was the beginning really for me and uh, it was a parish church choir near Croydon and there I sang as a treble for a few years and then I began to play the organ and conduct the choir a little bit as well with the help of the director of music there and then um, I was all set to go to university to do a languages degree um, and then somebody said to me quite late on actually um, do you know you can do a music degree and I said well why would I want to do that because music's my hobby and they, uh, they said well you know you can do an organ scholarship as well and so I thought well maybe I should think about this so then I swapped uh, sort of at the last minute to do a music degree and was an organ scholar at Girton College in Cambridge uh, from there I went to Wells Cathedral for two and a half years as the senior organ scholar um, and then I've spent eight years uh, the last eight years as director of music in Blackburn. Um, so Worcester is the sort of third chapter in my sort of cathedral huh. life. Terrific. Well, welcome. We're very excited about uh, you. your well, the time I. in Worcester. <laughs> and uh, in addition to being the dress director of music at Worcester, you're also one of the artistic directors of the Three Choirs Festival, which is in Worcester in 2020. Indeed. So you've you've inherited quite a bucket full of stuff. Yeah, well, this is one of the great things about being uh, affiliated to one of these three great cathedrals is that the, the involvement with the Three Choirs Festival. And I am so excited uh, about the Worcester Festival next year, especially having been here in Gloucester in 2019 to see it all happen. And this is your first Three Choirs Festival here in Gloucester. Yeah, I've never been, and, and uh, I've thought many a year, oh, maybe I'll pop down to three choirs this year but I've never managed to get around to it which I'm slightly ashamed of but I'm making up for it this year by being at the whole festival and I'm, I'm really really enjoying everything. Well it's terrific to have you here <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the Worcester program and also uh, about planning for it and, yeah. and this is all new but uh, yeah. I'm very curious as to what your approach was and, sure. and your input and all that kind of thing. So I was appointed uh, back in November last year, at which point there was a, an outline of the 2020 festival already in place. Um, and so I took that really as a framework and uh, with a lot of help and, and guidance from my new colleagues here at Three Choirs, from Geraint and from Adrian and from Alexis and Ben and others in, in the Three Choirs family, uh, I started putting together um, a full programme, at least for the evening cathedral concerts. Uh, one thing that became very clear early on was that one uh, of the themes or possible themes was the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower's voyage from Plymouth over to the New World and that gave me um, uh, straight away a theme of, of travel, of voyage and a theme of America as well. So I'm really delighted that uh, one of the themes next year will be American music and we've programmed a variety of uh, music by American composers, both contemporary and uh, composers like Copeland and in fact going back to Horatio Parker who was the first American composer to be featured here at Three Choirs back in 1899. So it's really good to, to, um, to, to have that link in my first Three Choirs program. Terrific and we're very pleased about that as yeah, well. Good, um, talk a little bit about the Copeland because that's the composer, he's the Dean of American Composers of sure. course, uh, everyone knows. Sure, so we're, we're um, starting the whole festival with the Fanfare for the Common Man uh, that's at the beginning of the opening night and then we're, we're putting Appalachian Spring into one of the programs in the middle of the week as well. Um, I'm, I've always been a great fan of, of American uh, music and American choral music but and there's such a breadth of it as well so it's been quite tricky actually to work out what to put where and, and I'm afraid there isn't room for every American composer right. um, so that uh, but, but there's still maybe some space for some American music in some of the even songs uh, and some of the other programs that have yet to be fully planned out. Terrific Talk a little bit about some of the maybe uh, lesser known American composers that are included in the week. 
Yes, sure. So the main one, I think, certainly for the audience here in the UK, will be the Horatio Parker Hora Novissima, uh, which is a, a large-scale work um, uh, premiered, as I said, in 1899, um, and it's great to be bringing that back to the festival next year. 1899 was also the year where Elgar conducted his three choirs premiere of the Enigma Variations, so we're going to pair it with that next year as well, which will be hopefully a really good, um, a really good indication of, of the strong link between the UK and the US. Tr uh, excellent. And also, for those of us that are um, expecting English music, yeah. what we come over, you know, it's, yeah. it's funny to come to England to hear yeah. Copeland, sure. but <laughs> for those of us who come for uh, English music. Tell Don't us worry. tell us Don't about worry. that. There will be some English music too. So we're balancing that uh, first half of our opening night, which will be uh, American composers, the Copeland. We're gonna do a piece by Nico Muli, uh, Senex Puerum Portabat, and the Sea Pictures by Stephen Paulus. But the second half will be Elgar, the music makers. Um, and then at the end of the week, the other main UK work will be Walton Belshazzar's Feast, uh, which I'm sure many of you all know is a real feast. Excellent. Uh, we <laughs> can't wait to hear feast. the antiphonal brass somewhere yeah, in the cathedral. Absolutely. It's yeah, terrific. Yeah, so so uh, what's been your impression of the, of the Three Choirs Festival thus far? Well, um, I'm not sure I exactly knew what to expect. Obviously, I, I know of the Three Choirs Festival by its reputation, but I think I've been uh, blown away really by the breadth of music that's on offer here and the sheer volume of events every day of, of the week. Uh, you can hear chamber music, you can hear choral music, you can hear orchestral music, you can hear a top orchestra, you know, the, the Philharmonia, with our own festival chorus, but also a, a whole host of visiting artists and soloists and recyclists, and it, it's just an absolute wealth uh, of musical activity, and it's, uh, it's such an exciting thing to be coming into for me. Excellent. Are you a bit nervous about next year? Well, I think uh, not yet. Uh, I'm not nervous yet. I'm sort of excited. I feel a bit like a kid in a toy shop with talking about all these wonderful concerts that are just less than a year away now. But I expect the nerves will kick in a bit later on. But uh, no, I, I think my, my first emotion at this point is, is excitement. I'm just really looking forward to it. Well, and you've referenced the Three Choirs family. And yeah. so you, you're the new kid on the block. Yeah. So I'm wondering... Um, if Adrian and Geraint have taken you under their wing and uh, welcomed you into the family, and how's that all gone? Yeah, the family, the, the whole Three Choirs family have been incredibly generous, incredibly welcoming. Um, Adrian and Geraint are fantastic colleagues. They've been so kind already in explaining how things work, in uh, helping with the planning process as well for next year, because I haven't really had uh, as long as would normally be the case to put that program together. Um, but uh, everybody here, I get the impression, is um, is a really kind of welcoming uh, family, um, and I'm looking forward to developing that role myself as I start my uh, time here. Excellent. And so, what's your message to Americans who are thinking about coming to the Three Choirs Festival? Um, well, my message is that um, I hope you will find a home from home in the Three Choirs Festival next year. Um, as I said, I'm delighted to be uh, featuring this link between uh, the UK and the USA, uh, brought into focus really through that anniversary of the Mayflower. Um, I hope you will enjoy hearing some music by American composers alongside those great pillars of repertoire from UK composers that we are um, so proud to present here at Three Choirs Festival. And I look forward to meeting uh, as many of you as can be here as well next year in Worcester. Terrific. Well, congratulations on your appointment, and we look forward to hearing your artistry next year. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank thanks you. very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.